if you turn off all mobile devices now. Also, portions of this performance include strobe light effects. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the Great Valley Middle School Theater Company's production of... That's a mouthful. Matilda the Musical Junior. Th 
this is all your fault with your stupid books and your stupid reading. But that's not right. You're off to school in a few days, and I know your headmistress, Agatha Trunchbull. Scary woman she is. You Imagine what she's going to do to a little goblin like you, boy. I'm a girl. No, off the bench, little bookworm.
around them. And their work became the only place they could escape the tragedy of their lives. So, they decided to perform the most dangerous feat ever known to them. It is called... The Burning Woman Hurling Through the Air With a dynamite in her hair Over sharks and spiky objects Caught by the man locked in the cage And is the most dangerous feat ever known to man Now, 
day, your first day in school. Now, can anyone read this? Me, me, pick me, miss. Oh, me, pick me, miss. Very well, Nigel. Yes, I think we'd better leave it, Nigel. We don't want you to burst a blood vessel on your very first day. Lavender is the first word. Tomato? Oh, no. But tomato is a very good word. Yes! Matilda, I like to now read words. So, Matilda, you can read words. Well, I need to learn to get words so I can read sentences. Because basically sentences are just a big bunch of words. If you can't read sentences, you've got no chance of books. And have you read a whole book yourself? More than one. I love books. Last week I read quite a few. A few? What books did you read?
It took one look at the miles on the first car and said these cars were knackered. I told them the miles were so high because of a manufacturing mistake. So you lied? Of course I lied. And they didn't believe you? Of course they didn't believe me. I've got green hair. I've got hair. And what's this? Another flaming book? What's wrong with the telly? No, no, it's a lovely book. Honestly. Here's what I think of your lovely. No, it's a library book. We have any soup of them? In the cupboard. And while you're at it, why don't you do your stupid book to your stupid head? What have I said about wearing pigtails? I hate pigtails! 
just made a very big mistake. Just so you all know, he's my best friend. Wow! Yes, sir, completely different concert. Green hair, why young and so National Green Hair Day, celebrating all the wonderful green things in the world, like lettuce and... <laughs> Start. Tomorrow, what, sir? Absolutely, sir. Bye-bye, sir. And that is how you do. I I'm gonna keep this on. Looks like rain.
a selection of very clever books that will challenge your mind. You may sit and read them while I teach the others. And if you have any questions, well, I shall do my best to answer them. How does that sound? Why, Matilda, this, this is the biggest hug in the world. You're going to hug all of the air out of me. Matilda Warwick, where is the Miss Trunchbull? So you admit to it, do you? Admit what, Miss Trunchbull? This morning, this foul Harbaugh was sneaked into my kitchen and stole a piece of my private chocolate cake from my tea tray. No, I do not. Matilda's been here all morning. Well, this trial took place before school started. Therefore, she is guilty! Okay, I'll admit it. I stole the cake. And I was maybe, sort of, kind of, thinking about holding up to it. Maybe. But here's the thing. The church was cake was so good that I scoffed it down way too quickly. And after that, I started having problems with my tummy. Trotter. What? Where? Oh, did I not mention? That was the 
first part of your punishment. There's more. The second part. And the second part is choking! What? No!
Not you, boy. I'm a girl. 155 old bangers on my hands. How could I possibly make the miles go back? I couldn't very well drive each one backwards, could I? Backwards. When suddenly, I had the most genius idea in the world. I took a drill, and using my incredible mind, I attached it to the speedometer and whacked it in reverse. Back? Wow. Exactly. In a few minutes, I lost the mind to practically nothing. Backwards. A few minutes later, Russian show <coughs> Expensive suits. Dark glass. Russians are not turn off. I saw it on a program last night. That was a program about badgers. Oh, same thing, you little nerd. And did it work? Only 
the finest nostrils smell it, but I know it oh too well. It is the odor of rebellion. It's the bouquet of the scent. The smell of rebellion comes out in the sweat. That visit will get you sweating. And it won't be long before I smell the pot. Oh, painting and a bedding. A bit of fizzed will tell us to wear the handle of rebellious thoughts. Hold, hold. Just like a rotting egg floats to the top of a bucket of water. Oh, we fall in silence in the section of death. A
here, spell newt. Newt. N-E-W-T. What? Miss Honey taught us. She's very good at teaching. Nonsense. You stand up, turn around, and spell the one thing that you all are. Revolting. Revolting. R-E-V-O-L-T-I-N-G. Revolting. You're cheating. I've taught them, that's all. With kindness and patience and respect. How dare you bring those words into my classroom, madam. You know nothing of teaching, and I shall prove it. You spell Angela Camino Sepricunus Timosis.
Bear is your father. Please. I don't know. The Wormwood is a stupid man and assumed that I was stupid too. And that is a very, very stupid and rude thing to do. Yes, but I'm afraid my father is quite rude and very, very stupid. You seem smart. Sadly, in my line of work, most of the people I deal with, they think he's all backwards. <laughs> backwards! <laughs> I can have one of my friends teach your father a lesson, and one day, if he leaves the hospital, he will still be stupid, but not so rude. What do you say? This is a very tempting offer, but... I think I've had enough of revenge. Your father is very, very lucky to have you as his daughter. Quick, get out of here before they name lines. Let Matilda stay here with me. Uh, I beg your pardon? Mr. Wormwood, I would love to take Matilda. I would look after her with love and respect and I'd pay for everything. <laughs> You mean leave our daughter here with you? Dad, you, you called me your daughter. And you want to take care of her? I do. And you want to stay with her? Yes, yes I do. Um, well, well, we're a bit short room in the car, so, um, yes? Thank you. And until the left in the midst of these arms. <laughs> 